Marcus and Barry for Sports Bay. Washington, D.C., downtown Northwest. Free and live. Shelly's back in there celebrating D.C. Graves, nonprofit organization, cigars and curveball organization night. Fundraiser. $50. Doc Parker gets to grab a meal ball. Washington Redskins and UCLA Bruin, Doc Walker here to support nonprofit organization yeah, absolutely. DC Braves, man. Yeah. Tell us what brings you out tonight. Baseball was my first love. Okay. So because of the Little League out of Sunset Little League out of Southern California, you got guys you're coming in our neighborhood who didn't look like us, picking us up, taking us to ball games, providing what we needed at the time. And for me it was transportation. We didn't have a car. So I Jim Womack, who was our coach with the Dodgers. And so that impact, and we won. The guy was a good mentor. And uh, we had Gary Templeton's father, Spivey, okay. who was also on our coaching staff. And, and so when you got Gary Templeton's old man, we had Mr. Cole, we had guys in the community that guided us, helped us. You know, we win, we get to go to McDonald's, we lose, you got nothing. They taught us the benefit of winning and doing it the right way. And I was volatile, okay, I'm throwing my bat, I'm upset. He said, hey, it's not how you do it. They taught us how to play the game. And so for that, I mean, I never forgot. So what do you think that's going to help bring that inner city vibe to some of these younger kids here in D.C. to get them to start playing a little more here? Well, I think it's the greatest game going because it makes you think. I mean, you're, you're 9, 10 years old and you're doing a scorecard. You're learning signals. I see high school football games now where coaches have guys coming to the sidelines and tell them to play. I learn signals at 10 years old. Yeah. So baseball is a thinking man's game. Absolutely. It really is. And you got to always be in communication. It's the best sport in the world in terms of knowing how many outs there are. You know, we're shading to certain hitters' tendencies. You learn tendencies. You learn the game. You learn how important it is to play as a unit. So I think it's a great game, and I wouldn't want our youth to get involved in it and not being so basketball-centric, which exactly. is nothing wrong with that. But baseball is really the golden game. All right. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for your thank support. For Doc Walker coming out to support the BC Grays here, Cigar and Cold Balls organization and foundation night. Tell us what brings you out tonight is how much you've been supporting these guys. I want to take my hat off to you, but what brings you out tonight to support the DC Grays? Well, you know, I mean, this speaks to things that are important to me. I mean, I grew up loving baseball, but I grew up loving a baseball game that had players like Willie Starge, Hank Aaron, and guys like that, and. I mean, I see the way baseball has been denied to that the whole section of the African-American community now for a number of reasons. And the Gray's mission is to try to change that, try to give you know, young African-American kids opportunities that are there in baseball and just to enjoy the game. You know, I mean, so that's I mean, it, uh, kids and baseball speaks to a lot of things that are important to me. And a lot of people showed up tonight in support of that. The RBR program, tell me a little bit about that and how much do you think that can help some of the inner city uh, kids here in D.C. become more familiar with baseball? Well, it's been successful in a lot of other cities. I think it's in 27 cities around the country. It was started by a former scout named John Young, Young who just passed away like a couple of days ago, unfortunately. Uh, it had been in, in D.C. before, but was not successful. We've decided to revive it. And we're, we're going to have seven teams, five boys, two girls softball teams. And, you know, we supply everything. We supply the uniforms, the equipment and stuff. So it gives some structure for kids. I mean, look, one of the problems is in, in a lot of cities, there's no facilities to play anymore. There's no fields, you know. And so we're trying to change that by using the Youth Academy. We're trying to give them opportunities to play organized baseball. Uh, something that would not, you know, not be available to them otherwise. So the RBI program has been successful around the country. We hope it's successful here in Washington. I think so. I plan on seeing you right there June 7th. Okay. At the debut. Thank you. All right. Thanks again. Tom Rivero, Sports Page.